Hi, welcome to the Discover Your Life Today YouTube channel. My name is Maveen Kora. I'm from discoveryourlifetoday.com. Uh, what I'm going to be today is talking about meal plans made simple in 10 steps. So you can actually go to discoveryourlifetoday.com forward slash meal planning and I'll be presenting 10 uh, meal planning steps right on there as well. So you can actually go ahead and read it. Uh, we're going to go through all 10 steps. So, uh, you know, grab yourself a piece of paper, a pen, your Evernote, your Word document, whatever is easier for you. Open that up and we'll be, uh, take some notes if you wish to. I'm going to be going through all the 10 steps. So these are the 10 steps we'll be talking about. And then I'm going to go more in depth on each one of those steps. So number one, getting family input on healthy meals. Uh, number two, planning a weekly menu. Number three, checking flyers for sales. Number four, develop a grocery list with healthy food options. Number five, shop on a week night, not week end. Number six, buy groceries three to four days at a time. Number seven, stick to your family's grocery list. And number eight, uh, meal pre uh, prep two to three days at a time. Number nine, stock your pantry and your fridge with the basics. And number 10, clean out your pantry and fridge from time to time. So I'm going to be going over uh, those uh, concepts a little bit more in depth uh, on each one of them. So number one, get family input on healthy meal ideas. So meal planning for a family can be fun and exciting. It helps bring everyone together and teaches everybody about eating healthy. Uh, what you can also do is if you're a single parent, uh, you know, you can spend some time with your kids in the kitchen. Just uh, kids in the kitchen. It helps get them involved. It really helps them um, be part of that family and feel part of that family dynamic as well. It just also allows you to help raise your kids right if that's what you feel raising your kids right is like. I personally do think it's a great idea to have everybody in the family involved. Uh, me, again, I do not have kids to, at this uh, time of recording, but I do feel when I do have kids and they're old enough that we'll have them in the kitchen, my wife and myself, and we'll have them participating in the meal prep as well. Each family member can uh, choose what they want to eat on certain days and everybody should have some input on what they want to eat. So really think about the ideas and options and you know family meal nights that you're looking to have. Maybe something like a Taco Tuesday or uh, something else on Wednesdays, maybe like a pasta night or something like that. But have some really good healthy options that everybody can choose from. Uh, this not only ensures that everybody's eating together, it also reinforces healthy eating habits for every single person in the family. So even when everybody's out on their own, hopefully everybody is still participating in that healthy eating lifestyle. Number two. Plan a weekly menu. So that's kind of going into what I was saying earlier. Once you kind of have an idea of what kind of foods that are going to be enjoyed by the family, you can have a certain, if you wish, to have a, you know, concepts for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all the way to Sunday. And make sure you include a, a cheat meal in there as well. Because you do want to not just be uh, tied down to eating healthy foods like carrots and celery all the time. It does get boring and, you know, you won't succeed on sticking to your healthy meal plan if you only eat that way you do need to once in a while incorporate other foods that you know are deemed not healthy uh, just to make sure you're keeping some sort of excitement in your life as well. Uh, make sure you're planning out what you're going to eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner or supper and snacks as well. Uh, this is important to remember uh, that every person in your family is also going to require a different amount of calories. So make sure you're uh, figuring out exactly the portion sizes that are needed for that me uh, weekly uh, menu as well. Number three, check flyers for sales. This is not something I do, but I have heard it works that people do is they, they check flyers. They'll have the one store that they always shop at. So they'll go to that store. They'll have that flyer that has a sale. So they'll take it into the cashier. The cashier will price match and give them the uh, lower price, which is a great thing to do. It's a great way to save some money. It's also a great way to see what kind of healthy foods each of the different stores has uh, available. Like, uh, sometimes you're not fully aware of what all the stores carry because we don't always shop um, the whole store. A lot of people have their patterns when they go to these grocery stores and, and, and we have a pattern of what we're looking for as well. So it's just, just a great way to find out what uh, is available to you when you are going into these stores. 
Number four, develop a grocery list with a healthy food option uh, for your family. So for the most part, we've all been to grocery stores. A good rule of thumb is to eat the foods that are on the outside walls of the store. So typically you will have your bread section, your deli, you have your frozen meats, you have your dairy, you'll also have um, your fruits and vegetables. Typically in the middle aisles, you'll have your junk foods like chips and crackers and cookies. You'll also have canned goods as well. Uh, again, there's nothing wrong with a lot of that food. Uh, you just uh, have to make sure it is right for whatever diet and meal plan that you're looking to follow. Um, you know, there are some good options, like I said, in the middle aisles. I do buy a lot of canned beans or I will buy dry beans as well because um, they are a great source of fiber and protein uh, for myself, especially on Tuesdays uh, because I do not eat meat on Tuesdays. Um, number six or five or six, I believe I've kind of lost count already. Uh, shop on a week night, not a weekend. Uh, grocery stores tend to be less busy between 7.30 p.m. and close. I've worked at a grocery store before, so this is just based on my experience at one grocery store, what I was able to see. Uh, this is usually the best time to go. It's also when the um, store is restocking the shelves, typically for the next day as well. So you do have some potential to add, get some stuff that's been off the shelf from the dinner rush. Um, I would actually go after you've eaten uh, dinner as well. Typically, a, a, a supper is eaten by the family around five, six, seven o'clock. So typically, go after when you're full. When you go when you're full, you're not going to be tempted by um, all the extra foods that are available to you, like those chips and and uh, salty snacks and sugary snacks. I would recommend buying groceries three to four. Uh, days at a time. The reason for this is, you know, you see people on Instagram. I know uh, a lot of people are on Instagram and they'll see people just meal prep for a week and, and you know, they'll, they'll take a picture of everything they're eating. It's all the same food and that's fine for that person. I would recommend if you're just starting off on meal planning, just doing one or two days at a time, get used to the idea of meal prepping and meal planning and get used to eating healthy foods, right? Uh, if you do it seven days uh, right off the bat one time, you're gonna get bored of what you're eating, you're not gonna to stick to it typically, um, and you're gonna go back to eating the foods that you are eating. If you do it two, three days at a time, you start building that habit, and once you've built that habit, then go ahead and start meal prepping for longer than that two or three or four days at a time. Uh, a lot of those people have um, been able to meal prep for a long, long time because uh, that is a lifestyle that they've chosen to uh, live. The next one here is stick to your family's grocery list. Uh, each week you may go shopping and you'll notice that um, you buy the same foods. So now the idea is to follow the grocery list, take a piece of paper and a pen with you and just start marking everything off that list. Now what may happen is you still may pick up that bag of chips or cookies or crackers or whatever and throw that into your cart. You're gonna have a couple of um, things that come up. One is you may get rid of that item right away, but like, ah, you know what, I know I shouldn't buy it, so you're gonna put it away right away. Let's say you make it to the cashier and um, you don't know, you really don't wanna buy that bag of chips, but your willpower is telling you maybe you should buy that chips and you just can't get rid of it. Uh, you know, we have two last chances here to do something about that, that junk food that's in your cart that did not make your list. One of the two things I would uh, suggest is, uh, you know, you can take that um, junk food out at the, at the cashier and just hand it to the cashier and say, you know what, I was going to get this, I just really don't need this. The second thing you can do is something a little different, is you can hand your grocery list to the cashier and ask them to take all the food out that did not make your list. It just kind of puts a responsibility on you know, on the cashier to, and takes that responsibility off of you. It just kind of makes you responsible for that and just kind of helps you get going and, and keeping that uh, eating habit intact, especially when you're first starting off. Uh, meal prep two to three days at a time. So this kind of goes as the same idea as buying groceries every three to four days. So when you buy groceries every three to four days, you're buying the most freshest food. The, the idea of meal prepping two or three days at a time as well is having the most freshest food to eat uh, with your family and your children. So that one's a pretty easy one. Uh, stock your pantry and fridge with the basics. 
Uh, so this store, this part here is going to require you to shop a little bit in the middle aisles uh, of the grocery store. You know, what I would recommend is if you're going to shop in the middle aisle of the grocery store, definitely go through and read the labels of the food that you are buying and the different products that you are buying. Uh, look for the healthiest option between the two or three products that you are comparing. Um, in my pantry, some of the stuff that we have is canned beans, canned tuna, different teas, powdered forms of all various uh, superfoods. We have spices and other uh, healthy options that we keep in our pantry. In the fridge, we typically keep that stocked with, you know, stuff like fermented foods such as uh, kimchi, homemade kombucha, fruits and vegetables, nuts, eggs, and other uh, additional healthy options as well. The healthier choices you can make, the more successful you, you will stay and be at um, sticking to your meal plan and, and your health goals. And number 10, clean out your pantry and fridge. So when you first start meal planning, I recommend going through your pantry and fridge and throwing out all the food that is open, uh, maybe donating it, you know, maybe having a one last party and having a cheap meal and just getting rid of all that food and eating it and then sticking to having a clean fridge and pantry. Uh, typically, anytime I start any sort of meal plan, I will typically do a two, uh, two three, four, or sometimes even up to a one week juice cleanse just to kind of get my body going, get my body ready to start eating healthy healthy and uh, the way I meal plan and whatnot. The other thing you can do is uh, you can invite your friend to come over and ask that friend of yours to throw out all the food that they think is uh, not on your list or your grocery list or your shopping list or your healthy list and then you can ask them to throw away those chips and cookies and crackers and sugared and salty foods for you if it's too hard for you to do for yourself. Uh, I would recommend that you do this once a week and then slowly move into once a month as you start developing the habit of buying healthy foods and sticking to buying foods that are on your grocery list. Uh, the reason I suggest this is not everybody has the willpower to stay healthy and, and, and you know, um, things will change and you'll want to go back to eating unhealthy. So it's always good to have somebody on your team and somebody on your side who is going to look after you by cleaning out your pantry, cleaning out your fridge, and you know, even let them know about some of your secret hiding spots that you may keep food because you do want to find the most success as possible and letting that person help you become successful is a wonderful way to be successful. Uh, this is the YouTube channel for discoveryourlifetoday.com. I hope you were able to enjoy this video. I hope you're able to use these 10 tips to find ways to be healthy for yourself. I think you'll be able to uh, get your family on board. I believe you can meal plan. I believe if you check the grocery um, flyers and find the good options, find good pricing, you can eat very healthy for a great price as well. Get that shopping list in, in check. Figure out all the different options that you can have as well. So maybe one day you have chicken with your rice, rice beans and vegetables, and another day maybe you're having beef rice, beans, and vegetables. You know, have some things that you can do to mix around and, and try to stay within your uh, carbs, fats, and protein limits and your macro limits. Um, you know, shop on week, uh, week nights, not weekends. This can be easy for you as well. It's a nice little outing in the middle of the week as well. Uh, you know, buy groceries three to four days at a time. Meal prep two to three days at a time. Stick to your family's grocery list as close as possible. Help get the cashier to help you uh, whenever possible. Uh, you know, stock your pantry and fridge with the basic foods that you do need. And remember to clean out your pantry and fridge every so often. This will help you become sexy successful as you meal plan towards your health goals. Have yourself a great day. My name is Maveen Kora and I am from discoveryourlifetoday.com.